Hey guys, how you doing? I just got done shooting a swag video uh, for my other channel that goes over everything I've got. Uh, I'll give you guys a quick picture of it, but I won't really talk about it in this video. Check this out. This bench or this table saw is loaded with stuff. I've already kind of started to mate stuff up. I'm going to get the kits made it with the, uh, the blanks uh, because I plan to do a ton of videos on this stuff and I just want to get it all ready to go. But I got some really awesome stuff here and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. So that's what I'm working on right now is I'm mating everything up. Um, and once I get it all mated up, you, you know, you guys will be brought along on, you know, things have to happen. Like some blanks have to be cut. So I'll come out and I'll do all the cutting. And then some blanks have to be drilled, do all the drilling, get everything glued up using epoxy, of course, because we're going to start using that as our uh, adhesive of choice. And then once they're glued up, then, then that brings some other blanks in. Some of these cast blanks need to have the ends sanded. So, you know, we'll do sanding. So I'm going to kind of do all of the prep work and you guys will be brought along on that to get them ready to turn. And then we'll go to the lathe one at a time and we'll start turning them and demoing them and showing you what they look like. And I promise along the way, I will tell you where I got them. Uh, so that way, if you're interested, and I'll include the contact information, if you're interested, you'll be able to go out and get these same blanks. But there's also going to be two additional videos coming up. And one of those videos is already done, and that is about the blank manufacturers, where I went through the show and I went through every table. It was awesome. Uh, the second one was about the, the, the people who are selling the vendors, selling all the other stuff, the kits and everything else. So there's going to be two videos. I broke them up because I didn't want it to be super long. I'm telling you awesome stuff, guys. Oh my God, you missed a great show. It was just insane. The show was phenomenal. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm looking forward to going back next year. I've already asked when are the dates, because I'm going. So mid-September, keep that on your calendar. Um, I think you'll enjoy those videos. I really hope you'll enjoy them. And uh, I'm gonna put all the contact information in those videos because I'm telling you, <laughs> you guys are gonna want to. These, the, these folks that go to these shows you're going to want to purchase from them because it's like I said in the other video, they are turners, okay? They manufacture these blanks. They make these tools as turners. And they, if you call them and say, hey, I want to order a blank from you. Can you tell me you know, how it's made? Can you tell me how to turn it? Can you tell me how to finish it? They can tell you everything about it. Whereas if you call a Penn State or you go to a Woodcraft, maybe you get a guy at Woodcraft that knows a little bit, but man, you just don't get that depth of knowledge to make you a better turner. So... That's why these shows are so important. They will make you a better turner and they will offer you a line of products that will blow your mind. You'll have so much fun turning new materials and crazy blanks and buying tools that are going to make your turning even easier and more enjoyable. So I'm going to go ahead and do some organizing and then I'll come back and show you the table once I kind of have it all laid out and squared up. I have been running around the shop like a madman gathering up blanks and matching them with kits. Um, I brought some stuff from the Augusta show over here as well. I'm going to show it to you real quick. Um, the one thing that I didn't bring over from the Augusta show was I got a lot of kitless pin blanks, the, the rods of plastic. I didn't think to, I needed to bring them all over. Um, you'll start seeing those as I start doing some more kitless. And I'll, but I just want to run over the table and show you guys a few things. You can kind of see every kit has a blank associated with it, which is kind of nice. All of these have blanks associated with them. They'll be turned. Um, these right here are all for bespoke turning. So I just kind of put them in the middle. Those will sort of happen as we get a chance to turn. But you can see all of these kits. This is a kit that I got from the other show. I've got one Harry Potter blank here that was sent to me by Andy Cohen. And I've got a really beautiful kit for that one. Uh, I got that from Chad Schimmel at the show in Augusta. Got a great kit here. Look at this blank. Isn't that beautiful? That was from Thomas Tate. He's, that actually was sent to me, but I've been wanting to turn it. Uh, this is a something I got at the last show. Uh, this came from uh, Travis Wakefield. This is one that uh, Kenneth Wines gave me. And I'm going to try to set aside some time. This will have to be kind of separate because I can't kind of do this with the other ones. That's going to take some time, but I'd like to put that together. And Kenneth also sent me these blanks, which were really awesome. And I got some kits for those. We're going to do those up. This stuff here, I really think I'm going to send off and have stabilized before I attempt to turn it. Um, so I'll see if maybe we can work a, a collab video or something out with one of my stabilizing friends. This blank, I do not have a, a 3 8 bolt, so I'm going to buy a 3 8 bolt action uh, kit so that I can turn this one. That's the fishing hook blank, which is super cool. So you get all that stuff laid out. This right here I brought over. You guys watched the video where I talked about uh, these 
bottle stoppers and bottle openers, and I gave you guys the ability to vote on these blanks. Well, I have to be honest, I have misplaced the note. I, I think I may have taken it to work with some of the some of the receipts and stuff from my past trip, so I'll take a look tomorrow. But if not, it's not a big deal. I'll just go back to the video and I'll retally up all of your votes. If you haven't watched that video, uh, go check it out. It's on this channel. Um, and you know, take a look at all that stuff and, and make a vote. And that way, as I tally up, I'll get all of your votes and we can go ahead and put together uh, the combinations that you want to see with the uh, bottle openers and bottle stoppers. I am overriding one of the votes though. We had a lot of votes on, I have this cool honey dipper and we had a lot of you guys who voted on which of the blanks to use for the honey dipper. I'm overriding you. I have decided that this uh, Kayla Cooper blank is going to be the honey dipper. Hands down, That's I bought it specifically for that and I hate to have a vote and override it, but I really think that is going to make a stellar honey dipper and I'm excited about it. So all that stuff ready to go. Um, I, I'm not gonna start pr prepping it tonight. You know, you, I've got some blanks need to be cut, blanks need to be trimmed, all kinds of stuff. We're not gonna start that tonight because I want to get this video to you guys. I got the other video I made plus the two videos from the show of all of the uh, vendors. So I wanna get in and work on those. Hey guys, how's it going? I popped outside for a minute just to kind of get some fresh air because it's really hot in the garage because the air's not moving. Um, I got a little clip here I want to show you. I thought it was kind of funny. You know, I, I showed the table, I panned the table and showed you the blanks. Well, let me show you what else I got at the show. I do have a good buddy of mine, and he sent this to me, this package, and his name is Bob, and I'm going to spell his last name because I always mispronounce it, H-E-D-I-N. Bob, I thought I got this on the way to the show and opened it, but I didn't. Uh, it showed, it was here when I got home, and this is, what this is, <clears throat> you guys probably heard me mention that I would like to get away from CA glue. Well, Bob has a type of finish that he's been using that he thinks is a really good alternative to CA, and he sent me a pin. Uh, and he turned one half and finished it with his finish and the other half is ready to go. It just needs to be finished. He wants me to finish it with CA and then compare the two. Um, at the show, Bob was there and he brought his finish and we actually, Robert Dedinsky and um, Kenneth Wines and myself and Bob all went into the one-on-one -on -one room and we, we had Robert, it was Robert's blank, so I had Robert Dinsky go ahead and round off the end of the blank. And then Bob applied the finish, and we got a chance to kind of see it, see how it works, and understand it. I have to buy this finish, because I'm going to go ahead and finish this just to kind of show you guys the difference. Um, but I, I really think it's something that I want to try. It wasn't all that expensive, and I'd like to try it and share that with you guys. So be prepared for that. I'm going to hopefully, if I think about it, order that tonight. Oh, one more thing. Check out what came in the mail when I got to work today. They were on my desk. Half nuts for the metal lathe. So you guys, you'll get to see that again real soon. Ah, oh, man, so much has happened. I mean, it's just been such a, such a packed, packed weekend of activities. But I think I'm going to go ahead now. I'm looking around. There's anything else I need to tell you guys, and I don't see anything. I think I'm going to go ahead and call it quits. I'm going to get in the house and get some videos edited for you guys. And then very soon you're gonna start seeing some content. I am excited and I'm hoping to be able to get going on this stuff and make a bunch of content and show you guys the stuff and the caliber of, of blanks that all of these manufacturers are offering. You're not gonna believe it. So stay tuned, I'll talk to you real soon. Have a great evening.